Now that I'll be taking over as the chair of the Council on Hypertension, one of the things that I would like to do in order to ensure that ASH members feel like they're a part of the Council and become involved is to make them aware of a mentoring program that we have. Uh, you can either be mentored if you're a more junior individual or you can actually serve as a mentor. The HA has a program-wide mentoring availability uh, and we also, for the Council of Hypertension, have our own known as CHAMPS, in which you can become a part of. As Chair, I sincerely encourage all ASH members to uh, consider membership in the Council. Uh, you have your initial year that you're part of the uh, Council right now, but going forward, uh, we would love for you to become full members and uh, part of the benefits of this are not only coming to the meeting and getting the reduced membership rates to attend one of the premier hypertension meetings in the world, but uh, also to have a place for your voice as clinicians in the area of hypertension or clinical researchers in the area of hypertension. There's new guidelines coming out in other areas uh, dealing with resistant hypertension, ways to implement the new hypertension guidelines, there's a lot of uh, issues on the horizon that we're really going to need your help in addressing. And I couldn't welcome you more to our meeting and our council. Some of the goals that I have for combining ASH members into the Council of Hypertension is one, to improve our programming by expanding our portfolio to have not only the very well-established basic science programming that we currently have, but also to incorporate more clinical science as well as clinical practice. And for the second year in a row now, we have added the fourth concurrent session, which contains two tracks, one being the primary care and the other one being the clinical practice, clinical science tracks. And in order to ensure programming that's pretty seamless from the ASH meetings into our council, we created a new position known as the Vice Chair of Clinical Programming of the Council, which has currently been held by Dr. Jan Basil, who's the immediate past a Vice President of the American Society of Hypertension and had been running the primary care track for the American Society of Hypertension meeting for the past eight years. ASH members can really become involved to the extent that they'd like to. Uh, for this past year, what we did is took uh, ASH members on society, or committees that are very similar to the ones that we already have in the council and appointed them membership into our full committees. That way they can fully assimilate as to how our council is run. Uh, and we'd also like their suggestions and things moving forward as we become more of a combined clinical and uh, basic science council. For those members that are interested in becoming more involved or if you have any questions in general, you can feel free to reach out to myself or two of our vice chairs, Dr. Jan Basil, that you're already very familiar with, and Dr. John Visignano, who happens to be the immediate past president of the American Society of Hypertension. They're very engaging and looking forward to having members come into the council and get more involved. We especially are interested in any ideas for improving their experience uh, with the council. Uh, so if you do have some ideas, uh, please feel free to just, again, contact me or any of the members of the executive leadership committee of the uh, Council on Hypertension. We'd be more than happy to get your feedback and to take your suggestions. Mm -hmm.